Moby here. I just, well, last night I ran a dishwasher. So I don't know if it's this cleaner or if it's this dishwasher. It's just like a regular one from Whirlpool. But let me tell you guys something. Like my dishes will come looking like this and then it'll rinse clean as fuck like this. Like, well, you can't really see it because of that damn spot, but like just clean as fuck and it doesn't even matter like what level I put it on. It'll just be clean. So yeah, I have a client coming over today at I think five, no, six o'clock because it's five now. We have an appointment um to do i have a permit to do this girl's hair i really am not in the mood to do hair right now because um i have a lot of school work to do and i just i don't know i've been doing hair for like three days straight and i'm just like not used to doing that much hair anymore like sorry guys it's so shaky it's just been a while like how do i say this it's been a while since i've done like four heads in a row like yeah, and because I do braiding, it can kind of take like a slight toll on you. And plus, we're doing crochet braids. Cro you know, crochets are cool. They're just not really like my favorite thing. I don't know why. I don't like doing it with straight hair, and people love doing crochet with straight hair. It would be different if it was like straight yakky, but it's just like some straight hair. So, straight hair, I have to do smaller sections. Different knotting. Mm. This spaghetti is so good. So, yeah, that's just what I'm doing today. I didn't really do much. What the fuck? Oh, okay, that scared me. Um, I have to open up another bank account with another place because something's going on. Like. But I won't talk about it until later. I keep bringing it up and not talking about it. I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, that scared the fuck out of me. Why did this fall? That's so strange. Like, why? Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I know I keep starting off every single vlog like this. Like, I'm wearing, like, some type of mask or something. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go take this thing off. Uh, I made I made myself some coffee. Today is Labor Day, y'all. I don't understand a lot of these holidays at all. I just made me a fresh cup. Mmm, let's see. Oh, that's so good. Oh, my gosh. I've been drinking my coffee a lot stronger than I used to. This is the one that I use. I use a special blend. One, I get it from H-E-B and it's really, it's like Arabica beans, it's really delicious. I love it. Uh, let me go rinse this scary thing. Hey guys, going to go check the mail. The weird piece. Acting funny. See that piece right here? I don't know why it's doing that. It doesn't want to blend, I guess. That's kind of annoying. Anyway, I did a full face of makeup because I was trying out my Fit Me, my Fit Me foundation. Thank you. Wow, they never hold open the door, but I guess since I did my makeup, they do. Always never open the door. Um, yeah. Anyway, I, found, I tried out the Fit Me foundation because the subscriber was like, "Oh, why don't you use it?" I had stopped using it because. It just wasn't enough coverage for me, but I tried it out today. And I don't know if it's because it's been sitting for a long time or something or what. Like, what? I think it's really bothering me. Thank you. I don't know if it was because the foundation has been like sitting for a while. I'm sorry guys, but that's really bothering me. But it actually was like full coverage. So uh, it was well, it was kind of full coverage. It was like, it was medium, definitely medium. And then I did a little bit of concealer and powder. So yeah, 
it just feels good to like wake up and then just like do your makeup a little bit. Anyway, we're checking them out. My usual trek. Is that a trash bag outside? All right, we're gonna go weigh. I'm gonna go weigh myself. Okay, so we're getting ready. I'm gonna go weigh myself. I didn't have any mail, and that's like, I don't know, that just keeps happening. Guys, I haven't worked out in three weeks. Three weeks, basically. Well, two and a half, almost three weeks now. So, I know that, oh wow, it's bright. Ow, shit, it's my barbecue. Hold on. Okay, so I haven't worked out in weeks. I got a weave, and I feel like that's a little bit more heavy. And then, um, my last weigh-in was like weeks ago, and I was not happy with it. So I'm really hoping that I'm not in the 90s, but I know I am. There's no way I'm not. There are so many people here today. I don't want them to see me weighing myself. <laughs> no fucking way. I don't know. Something's not right about that. Okay, somehow, I am 185. Somehow, how is that even possible? Like, literally, I'm the same weight that I was two and a half weeks ago when I weighed myself. Either I, I mean, what the fuck, how is that possible? Like, I'm almost 186, but like, what? That's amazing. Y'all, I was so sure I was gonna be like 192. I'm always 192. That's amazing, so. Okay, that's motivated me. You know what, I'm just gonna eat at home. It's so difficult, like I've really been trying to turn this into a lifestyle, so like, every time I think, like where I live at, there's a, nothing but food trucks. Like literally, like, when I go downstairs, there's like six of them. Then there's a restaurant across the street from me. There's two beer, like breweries, um, like five minutes, no, literally one minute walking. You can't even drive there, it's so close. There's three t taco places that serve like other types of food. So like there's food all around me and some of the places are kind of expensive, but a lot of them aren't. Like, and it's really been a fight to like try to make this a true lifestyle and like not. And plus, I don't have a car, so I get really tired, really lazy, and I don't feel like cooking all the time. So it's really been a struggle. But actually, it makes sense that there's a lot of people at the gym right now because it's Labor Day, so. I'm like out of breath. <laughs> it's Labor Day, so people are off today, and that's why they're able to be at the gym midday. So that actually makes sense. I didn't even think about that. All right, so I got no mail. So I guess I'm just going to have me some chicken and cornbread like I've been doing. Like the chicken that I baked last night, it's so delicious. It's, it's, de it's delicious. <laughs> so I'm probably going to end up uh, doing the potato thing. I need to go get some. I threw that potato from last night away. I'm gonna get potatoes and I'm gonna make some rice and I'm gonna make myself like potatoes, rice, and gravy. And, you know, with my chicken. Because I love that. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna finish watching. Bye. Oh, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. This is this season. Only it's a little bit more updated. Sure Wait, no, these are the older episodes in the season. Forget them. Okay, that was my mom. She keeps calling me, and then she, she, she'll she be talking to other people, and that pisses me off. So I keep telling her, like, stop doing that. She's called me six times in the last couple hours, which is a lot anyway. But every single time she calls me, bring, bring, and I say, hello? Yeah, girl, so, um, what you, like, she's talking to other people. Don't call me when you're talking to other people. And just now, she called me. And some guy is talking to her about um, what kind of meat or something. And I'm like, hello? And then I heard her just say, ooh, I gotta go. My daughter's gonna get mad. But she's still talking to him. So I just hung up. I'm like, no. 
don't call me if you are talking to other people. It's just that simple. Like, it's it's not... This isn't even, like, a difficult thing to understand. I don't want to listen to you on the phone with somebody else. Like, it's not even... It's just... It's not that serious. Just hang up. There you go. <laughs> like, you see, I'm here. I don't do that to people. Like, if, if I'm already in the conversation with somebody, I'm not going to be talking to you and then pick up my phone and call somebody else. It doesn't make any sense. Unless I feel like our conversation is over... I have no reason to keep talking to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, I don't know if I'm making sense. I hope I am. But yeah, I just, I'm like, no, I'll just get off the phone. It's, it's not that serious to me, but whatever. Everyone's different. So yeah, that's, um, right now we're trying to find, this is a cute dress. Um, a ride for my mom. I just called my cousin. I asked him, could he go and pick up my mom? But he's not really answering his phone, of course. That's how people are. Uh, he said that he had to... He's my Right now, my mom is in Shreveport, Louisiana. So I just got the phone with my mom. Um, so what we're trying to do is, because there are no rental cars available, um, the, uh, there, will, there won't be anything until Friday. My mom does not want to stay at that, obviously. I don't even want her there at the refugee. refugee but you know what I'm saying, the place. What is that? Okay, that's some weave over there. Um, where they have her in Shreveport. She wants to leave. I want her to leave too. I don't want her there. But now the lights are back on in her neighborhood. But the problem is that you, I think you can get into where she lives, but you can't leave there because of how the freeways are being cut off right now. She just told me that she, her neighbors told her that the lights are back on, but they can't leave um, or whatever. So... She can't even go to work, so I was like, well, maybe you should go back home now if you can, you know, if they'll take you back home, um, because I, there's nothing really I can do, I mean, unless we all drive down to Shreveport, um, she can take a train, because she didn't want to take the Greyhound, because the Greyhound, like, everything is sold out going to Austin, everything's just so crazy, everything is sold out, I guess because it's the holiday, it's Labor Day, um, so yeah. Um, so I had, I was looking on Amtrak to get her a ticket and I found one for in the morning, but now I'm trying to figure out how's my mom even going to get to Amtrak. The, the Sam's Club where the, you know, that's turned into like, you know, the place, it's, it's like in the middle of nowhere. Like, so I would have to call a taxi to go out there and go get her and then bring her to the bus station. So yeah, guys, that's what we're figuring out. This stupid hurricane is just like... Messing with people's lives, literally, and everything. But now she's kind of getting on my nerves because I was simply just suggesting to my mom. I was like, well, you know, maybe you should blah, blah, blah. I was just trying to help her and just tell her maybe you should just go back home and just wait it out and, you know, get your groceries and just hang out there. And my sister will mail you the phone that you need or whatever. Because coming to Austin is going to be kind of like, it's... You were only coming here because you didn't have your lights on. But now you can go back and get your lights. You can't go to work. But at least you can be at your home instead of at that place. My cousin, Jacoby, he's not answering his phone. I text him and I ask him, could he go pick up my mom in the morning? And he's like, oh, well, my, you know, my kids. I have to go take my kids to school. He asked me what time and I told him 6.30. So I'm like, I mean, how early do you need to get up to go take your kids to school? You know, you could just drop my mom off on the way or something and, you know, but whatever. So I don't know. I just, people hate doing favors for people. You cannot get a call back. So I, and I keep trying to tell my mom, I'm like, she keeps trying to find a family member that's drive, that will drive her out of the way to Austin. I'm like, that's just not happening. That's just not happening. Like, people are not going to do that, okay? So let's just try to get you to somebody who can even take you around the corner. Let's start off by doing that. Yeah. Okay, and for people that are wondering why I didn't go online and get my college textbooks, I was using financial aid using I was using financial aid and the financial aid is connected to the bookstore it's not connected online at least I don't think so so that's the only reason why I got my books from there but other than that y'all y'all know I'm frugal I love saving money so I would never just go and pay a whole bunch of more money um for books like I'm cheap as fuck especially when it comes down to bullshit like that that I don't even believe in like I don't even believe in those I damn sure I'm not gonna go pay more money for that 
Okay, I'm just getting my natural hair straightened. That's cute. Oh, Lil Uzi Vert just dropped his music video for EXO, EXO Tour Life. I know EXO Tour Life. It's kind of dumb. I'm just like, whatever. They always... I am so bored, y'all. Like, oh, I'm really trying to, like, not be bored. I'm just, like, I'm in this weird place where, like, I don't feel comfortable with myself. I don't feel comfortable with the way I look. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it's just my body, like... I'm so just, I don't know, it's like I'm happy about certain things, but then at the same time I'm not, like, I don't know, I, I, I feel very unfulfilled, and I was just talking to my brother about this, I was like, you know, I feel really, like, weird about a lot of things in my life, like, I'm, I got into school because I was feeling, like, super unfulfilled, I was, like, not really doing anything with my days, like, yeah, I work, but I need another type of work or I'll feel, you know, a certain way. So I was telling him that and he was like, oh, well, you know, and I said, maybe if I started working out again, I'll, he was like, yes, you need to work out. Once you start doing that, you're going to feel completely better about yourself. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. I'm going to actually go and I'm going to like work out because you guys don't understand. I have this weird, like empty feeling in my life and I can't put my finger on it. Like... It's not a re relationship or anything like that. Like, sometimes I am like, ooh, I want to be in a relationship. But then I'm like, no, I, I really do like the freedom that I have. And, and just, like, even these couple weeks of, like, just going on dates and stuff and what I've been having to deal with has been, like, ooh, it's like a, it's like relationship birth control. Relationship control, if you would call it. Like, just liking being single. But, um, yeah, because I have school... And, you know, I have been really trying to, like, get my working and all that stuff uh, together and everything. And But it's just, just, like, my whole body and all that. I feel very unfulfilled in that aspect. So I feel like once I start working out, because I remember when I used to live in Austin, I was going to school and I was, you know, working and I was working out. Like, I felt very good about myself and I was very motivated. I would wake up in the morning, work out, do schoolwork, maybe do some hair, just not do shit with myself. And then I would go and I will work out again that night. So maybe I could fall back into that habit. I don't know, but today that really motivated me, so I feel like that's what's missing in my life, is just, like, going out and working out and doing something, because, yeah. What is that? Oh, that's just a lipstick. This lipstick is, like, really pretty. Oh, no, this is a lip gloss. I can't wait till my color pop stuff comes. And then I can tell that I'm starting to kind of, like, get weird about myself, because I'm starting to shop again. Like, whenever I feel very unfulfilled, I'll start, like, just shopping. And I haven't really shopped for anything in a really long time. And right now, I have a bunch of shit in my cart. At first, it was at, like, 400 or something. But now, I just dropped it down to, like, 200. And I'm, I, I'm starting to get that pattern again while I just start shopping. So, I don't know. I'm like, I need to figure something out about myself. <laughs> hey, guys. <clears throat> I headed downstairs to go pick up a package at the leasing office. Oh. Is it? Oh, it's weird. Oh. Okay, just got my little package. 